So the mouse action wizard can be found in the editor under mouse commands and this gives us a few ways of quickly creating code that can click the mouse. So to start off with we've got various ways of, of finding the position that we want to click in. So the most simple, most basic one is the the default option which is just a specific screen XY coordinate. So when we, when we click next we now ask to drag the crosshairs to the position we want to click and all it's doing is looking at the position on the screen so it's, an, it's a fixed position on the screen. So let's say we want to click here and we click next and we've got various other options like whether we want to hold any keys down while we're moving the mouse I don't want to in this case and what to do when found. And usually we just want to do a left click but we've got all the other types of clicking here. We could also hold some keys down while clicking if we want to. I just want to click so I'll insert the code and of course all that's going to do is move the mouse to that position and click there. Now of course if notepad's in a different position that's not going to do anything because it's clicked over here. So we could use the next option which is a relative mouse click so we'll choose the next option which is a screen coordinate relative to the active window and we'll just drag it again to what we want to click on you'll notice that when we go there it's actually giving us the position relative to the window that the mouse is over so again we'll just have the defaults we'll just click once now of course this makes no sense unless it knows what the active window is so um, and normally in a script you would have activated a window at, at a certain point um, so for demonstration purposes we'll do that here. Let's get rid of our first example. So if I run that, let's move notepad just to try and fox it a bit. We'll run that and it works perfectly. So you can see that clicking relatively. Now of course you can write the code yourself manually and you can look over here to see what the curse position is but the wizard just makes really easy work of it. Now the next option is to is to locate the position of a control using its class name. Uh, it's not going to work for, for these kinds of buttons but it'll give us for example if we want to click inside the editor um, we can get the edit win window and it gives us the class name and lots of technical details about it and again we'll just click and if center of object is going to be around here somewhere so let's say top left of object there we go so that should move the mouse and click right over there and again if I move it it still copes because it's actually locating the the object itself finally we can use image recognition use screen image recognition so much like in the image recognition wizard it's just another way of doing it. I would recommend using the image recognition wizard for this really but since it's a way of moving the mouse we've got it here as well and left click get rid of our first one and there. So there you are there's a load of other things you can do, but it's just a really quick way of um, locating a mouse position. It just saves you writing a bit of code.